What we do in life. That goes in eternity. So for two years now, Nestle, um, yes, the chocolate company, um, but actually the water company too, um, they have been under investigation by California for two years now. And California is accusing Nestle of bottling and selling water taken from the San Bernardino Forest without a proper permit. And, you know, cheers to California for actually investigate Nestle and figuring out what's going on because Nestle is really a company that doesn't care about people. They don't care about your human rights. They don't care if you have water, if you don't have water. Um, what they're doing is straight up stealing water. Uh, so in this two year investigation, it was discovered that Nestle has the right to about eight and a half million gallons of water a year. Um, but on average from 1947 to, to 2015 and, and even to this day, you better believe it. The company has been collecting roughly 60 million gallons of water a year. So they're only, they only have the right to eight and a half million gallons a year, but they've actually been taking 60 million gallons of, of water a year. Now that's a lot of fucking water that they're stealing from, from people and not just from any people we're talking about uh california california is one of the states that have been and it actually is the state that's been in a drought for four years now they're going on a fourth year of being in a drought and they need this water they need good clean water and nestle is still in the water taking it and repackaging it um now this has been going on for some time now and it's clear that the government isn't going to do anything about it. Um, so somebody needs to actually sue Nestle. Um, and I think that we're going to see that happen sooner than later, because the more this story gets out and the more uh, Californians wake up to the realization of what Nestle is doing right under their noses, somebody's going to step up and sue Nestle, which needs to happen. Um, this company needs more than just being hit with a with, with a fine uh people need to go to jail for this because they are literally still in the water and nestle is one of the crookedest companies out there period in my opinion nestle should be shut down there should be no nestle company uh i don't trust their products I, and i definitely don't trust their water you know i feel like they're they're poisoning them, their water you know the water that they're stealing repackaging and selling back to the people to kill you you know what i mean and they're not only doing it in california they're doing it in flint michigan too and just recently nestle came out and said that they're going to actually start uh, in increasing the intake of water that they're taking from flint michigan when people need this water out in flint and they're they're actually plotting on taking more water from these people and they don't have anything but they want to repackage it and sell it back to the people of flint that's crazy and that's wrong um and the ceo of nestle his name is peter Berbeck. uh he's actually on record of saying that um water should not be a human right um now people you can look deeper into this and see what his actual quote says and actually looking it up his actual quote said that uh he said um that he feels like the ideal that water is a human right is extreme um which is basically saying water shouldn't be a fucking human right because the ideal of it being a human right is extreme and that's false you know i i don't see how you can even agree with that philosophy unless you're a crooked motherfucker who works for a company that uh makes money off of selling water stealing natural resources and selling it back to the people um so something definitely needs to be done about this and uh i had to do a story on it because i i feel like it should it, people should be aware of what's actually going on um so here's a clip from rt america 
uh, the realest news station in America. They're going to go into deeper detail about this issue in Flint. Um, so here it is. Check it out. All right. For more on this, let's go now to host of America's Lawyer, Mike Papantonio. All right, Mike, what recourse might the state of California and the Water Board have available to them against Nestle? Well, they have a law. They have a massive lawsuit. Uh, li listen, you know, Nestle is a company that could best describe be described as a resource extraction business. No, no different than any other business that say pollutes a river or pollutes air. That is, those are pub those are public commons, and people that are affected by that certainly can articulate a lawsuit where they say, look. You've taken all this from us. You've, you've, you've affected our tax base. You've done many things that, in a chain of events that should enable us to, to take it to court. The, understand, you will not have uh, the, the regulators do anything that's meaningful to, ne to Nestle. You know, most people th probably th associate Nestle with the chocolate chip right. cookies, but for decades, they've been working to privatize water systems around the globe. This is a great example. What's happening right now in California is that someone finally had enough sense to look at the permits that Nestle has to extract water from San Bernardino National Forest, and the state water board found that the company was bottling and selling more than 60 million gallons of water a year when their permit only allows for eight and a half million gallons. Now, here's the point. The government won't do anything about this. This has been going on since 1947. Nestle has a, pu a huge political influence there. It's going to have to be a citizen's kind of lawsuit, but I can think of a thousand different ways to articulate that lawsuit. Hopefully somebody will do that out in California. But rather than giving the company a massive fine, there needs to be more punishment. This is stealing water okay. from one of the most drought damaged areas in the United States. And, and it's, it's nothing but, but the thievery is what now, it is. Now, Pap, as you said, uh, for, for the citizens to, to cause a fuss over this, is there sufficient evidence or, or sufficient damage given that the state has been in a drought for so many oh. years? Is, is, there, is there enough here for Californians to bring, say, yeah. a class action yeah. lawsuit? Well, it doesn't have to be a class action. It could be a farmer that can somehow establish that this drawdown from the water supply affected his ability to conduct business on his ranch. It can be any number of variations of that. Somebody out there needs to be creative enough to go after those clients to bring a lawsuit to stop this. Because you gotta understand, government won't do anything. Regulators, Jerry Brown will not do a thing about this because of the money that's pumped in from this company to so many political races. Uh, just look, just a few years ago, the president of Nestle was on record saying that water is not actually a basic human right. So therefore, his company should be able to extract water resources from any area of the world and sell it back to locals. That's the mentality they have. And until you take their money away and until somebody articulates a criminal act against them, then this is going to continue. Uh, just real, like the defense industry, Nestle always seems to be ready to capitalize on tragedy. And, and real briefly, Pap, will Nestle continue to pump the water then, given that there hasn't been any source of a, a cease and desist letter issued? Oh, they will get they will, they will do this to the last minute. Look, that, Flint, Michigan, they got to Flint, Flint, Michigan. Nestle announced that they were going to increase their water extraction in Michigan further starving residents of clean water. This is a corrupt company. You know, that's the problem. We have to treat it like that. All right, thanks so much. I'm America's lawyer, Mike Papantonio. Thank you for watching Up TV 2. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to Up TV 2 and Up TV, or watch one of these great videos here and enjoy. Peace.